I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats at the preview screening of the new CBC show Strange Empire. Check it out on CBC this fall. I'm here with actress Melissa Farman. How does it feel to have CBC Strange Empire uh, going to air so soon? It's so exciting. Um, we're all very excited that CBC is putting on air this very kind of groundbreaking show for the CBC. Um, this big step in showing an important part of our history that sometimes we don't represent. And what do you think is so important about representing these women in the Wild West around the time of Louis Riel? Well, I think that, you know, Westerns are such a beloved genre, and they're really our myths of origin as a nation. And in this sense, we really want to see the other side of the story, the women that were part of that story. And not just the women, the disenfranchised. People who went West were coming from very broken backgrounds and were telling their stories. The West was a hyper-concentration of diversity, and that's what we're interested in investigating. And tell me a little bit about the atmosphere on set while you're shooting this super gritty, you know, serious, sometimes violent yeah, <laughs> uh, series, but what's it like uh, working with all the other great actors? I think that that's the great contrast, is that as much, you know, you know, kind of grit and violence and hardship that these people have to overcome, and we feel so lucky kind of representing that as actors, there's nothing but love and support and like jokes on set. It's a very light atmosphere. So because we're kind of transporting in such a kind of a dark realm that we really all have each other's backs and try to laugh as much as we can. <laughs> and tell me a little bit more about your character. She's very interested in medicine, but tell me a bit about the importance of representing that at, at this time where women weren't really in medicine uh, that much. Absolutely. It was a very lonely and brave road to take. Um, there were very few women in medicine and I was reading the notes and the books of women like Florence Nightingale or Elizabeth Blackwell who was the first woman to get her degree in the United States. Um, but especially on the frontier because there was a scarcity of resources and men, women had to become doctors. Um, but they just never got the credit for it. Um, and so they were very much kind of trailblazers. Um, and it's been very fun kind of looking into that part of our history that we don't often hear stories about. And along the lines of not getting credit uh, in the first episode, you give credit to your, to your husband. Uh, you know, what interested you in that dynamic also being married to a much older man in the show? Well, I think it's interesting, right, because the character I play is Rebecca Blithely, and she was raised between an asylum and then adopted by this man and educated as a way of experiment to test female ability. So there's a very interesting power dynamic there as well, because I'm kind of like his Frankenstein, <laughs> and um, I'm married to him, and I'm definitely kind of as you meet Rebecca in the pilot, she's at this point in her life where she's in the Wild West, this land of freedom, and she's going to have to discover what autonomy and freedom mean to her for the first time. And where's the best place for us to find out more information on you and the show, and where can we follow you online? Well, you can follow me on Twitter uh, and definitely at CBC. Well, thank you so much, and congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats at Soho House in downtown Toronto.